A lot of people ask me, what is the worst part about living in Michigan? I'm gonna show you exactly what the worst part about living in West Michigan is, and it's coming up right now. For things to do and sights to see, you are now watching Live Great TV, and I'm your official host to Living Great in Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. My name is Vaughn Greyhouse. Hey, I love making these videos. So if you want to know more about the Grand Rapids area, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on all the brand new videos that I'll be putting out each and every week. Because honestly, I love making these videos for you guys. But even more than that, as a licensed real estate agent in the state of Michigan, I love helping you guys make that transition right over to the Grand Rapids area. So that name and that email coming across the screen right now is my direct contact info. And yes, I'm the one who answers those calls and messages. So make sure you get a hold of me if you have any questions. With that being said, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, let's get into what the worst part about living in West Michigan is. Now, full disclaimer, I wanna let you know that this is all gonna vary based on what's going on with whatever person you're talking to. Whoever you talk to at any given point in time is gonna give you a different answer about the worst thing about living in West Michigan. So I wanna give you full disclaimer that some of these things that I might talk about may end up being positives for you. So if that's the case, then you know take it for what it is. All right. I want to go into exactly what I think that the worst part about living in Grand Rapids or West Michigan area is. And honestly, it's not that big. It's not a big city. When you think about Miami or Chicago or LA or New York or some of these big places like Austin, Texas or some awesome places that you may have traveled, Grand Rapids is not as big as one of those cities. It's a more quaint town. It's a lot more personable. It's one of those things where you know your neighbor you're actually involved in the community so it's a very community oriented place it's not your typical big city it's the second largest city in Michigan so knowing that we have about a million people a million plus give or take people in the metropolitan Grand Rapids area so if you're looking for that big city it's definitely not that we do have some really cool things in, as far as our own area like we have our own sports teams we have some very cool breweries we have a lot of venues we have a lot of great food here so as one of those bigger cities it's kind of like the perfect contrast between the perfect little big town so that's one of the things that is kind of annoying if you really want to do some of that big city stuff like go shopping or go to one of the major league games we don't have any of that but Grand Rapids is also a really comfortable place it's a really nice place and you're definitely gonna love it when you come out all right, the next thing that I wanna get into as far as the worst part about living in West Michigan, and this is really gonna go out to my sports fans. Let me tell you, being a professional Michigan sports fan is a little tough. We just watched the uh, University of Michigan and they actually won the championship. So that was really, really relieving for a lot of us as Michigan fans because we have to see the Tigers and we have to see the Pistons. You know, the Pistons are actually doing really well, but we have to see the Detroit Lions and a lot of times it makes it difficult to really root for us because sometimes we don't always win and that's something that really stands out as a Michigan sports fan knowing that we don't have the best teams but at the same time we definitely enjoy our sports we're really proud of where we're from whether you're from Michigan State fan, Central Michigan, the University of Michigan, the Chips, uh, you know, there's so many different things about Michigan sports that we like, but as our professional sports go, not really that big of a highlight. So I definitely wanted to point that out for you. All right, let's talk about the third thing that I know is one of the worst things about living in West Michigan, and that is going to be the winters. We get a lot of gray skies during the winter time, and they seem to drag on and on and on and on and on and on. So the winter time, they're actually really long. We get a lot of sleety, wet snow. So if you're driving, you definitely got to be careful. Get some good tires, get some front wheel drive, so you know exactly how to navigate through these roads because it can be kind of difficult getting on slick roads and whatnot. The kids at school, they have 
quite a few snow days. I think they have a certain amount per year that they're able to actually allot to the kids in order to have off. So, you know, you can kind of make lemonade out of lemons when it comes down to that. So just knowing that those winters are pretty long and if you don't like to be in the snow, you don't like to go sledding, you don't like to go snowmobiling or tracking or doing any of that cool stuff as far as the winter time, make sure that's a heads up. It just is what it is. You know those winters are long, so the gray skies coming out, like even today, I don't know if you can see in the background, it's just gray out and some people don't really like that. You don't get as much sun as like a Colorado or a, you know somewhere down south, so you're not getting as much of that vitamin D as you should, but at the same time, Michigan's a fantastic place throughout the year. Year round, it's an excellent place. You get those white winter Christmases and it's a really great highlight about the West Michigan area, so heads up. All right, along with those winter months, we have that snow, we have these big salt trucks. They're full of salt and they hit the highways, they hit the streets, they hit the neighborhoods, and they spread salt everywhere, which may end up wear and tearing on your car. So you have to get a car wash every so often, just making sure you're staying on top of it or it'll eat away at the paint. That's a big thing out here, as well as potholes in the roads. And with that, it seems like there's only two seasons in Michigan. You have winter and you have construction, and both of them last literally all year long. So knowing that, watching out for those potholes, dodging those potholes, making sure you don't bottom out and hurt your car or anything like that is definitely makes sure you have some good insurance so when you come out here you kind of have a heads up. But those potholes in the area are just kind of annoying. So knowing that ahead of time is definitely gonna give you a good heads up. All right, I'm gonna get into the very last thing that I know about living in West Michigan that I really don't like. And it's just, it's not as scenic as some of other places that I've been. Now, there's a lot of cornfields, there's a lot of farmland, there's a lot of space out here, and it's country. Some areas are really, really country, and like a lot of the United States, it's flat, but this, when I say flat, I mean flat, flat. There's not a lot of hills, there's not a lot of mountains or anything like that, so if you're looking for those big mountains and things like that, you might wanna look elsewhere. However, if we do go up north, we have a lot of really cool places such as Silver Lake, where you can go get on the sand dunes, you can ride and just see some different scenery there. We see a lot of the trees change colors, so we see a lot of different forests and whatnot in the area that you actually can enjoy. It's just that it just isn't a very hilly place. There's not a lot of terrain as far as the nature scene or canyons or anything cool like that. So I definitely wanted to put that out for you so you know. And also, there aren't a lot of very big, cool buildings However, Grand Rapids does have the Steelcase Pyramid building, which is an awesome, awesome building. Like, I don't know how they made this architecture, but it literally looks like one of the pyramids in Egypt. And it's just an office space as far as I know. And literally, it's one of the coolest places in Grand Rapids. I wanted to give you all a heads up on just some of the things that were just at the top of my mind about the worst part of living in West Michigan. Just taking those things into consideration, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me anytime. Like I said, for things to do and sights to see, this is Live Great TV, and I'm your official host of Living Great in Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. My name is Vaughn Greathouse. Hey, as a licensed real estate agent in the state of Michigan, I love helping you make that move over to the GR area. So that name and email coming across your screen right now is my direct contact info. Yes, I'm the one who answers the calls and messages. So if you wanna know more about the West Michigan area and what it's like to live, work, and have fun in West Michigan, make sure you hit that subscribe button tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on all the brand new videos that I'll be putting out each and every week. With that being said, we'll see you guys on the next video.